I think the issue is really about working parents and also the colleagues of working parents. I mean, the, the challenges of being a parent and combining that with a job um, are important for entire workforces, not just the individuals concerned. I think our aim as organisations and as society is to create a level playing field in which everybody, no matter what their personal commitments are, uh, is free to come to work in a way that works for them in their lives at a particular point and realise their full potential and be successful at work but also in the balance of the rest of their lives. What we are seeing is much more transparency around the issue and so many more organisations now really setting targets, particularly with the gender pay reporting guidelines coming through. Organisations are having a real wake-up call with the spotlight being shone, saying, well, why can't we re retain that hugely valuable female talent and, and help women progress in their careers better? The news is, you know, from, from talking to men and from being a bloke, and doing big surveys into masculinities that men, I think, are ready to step up to be more equitable parents, but they need to be shown that they're valued to be invited into that dialogue. What we've realised is it's not going to work just from a grass, grassroots pushing upwards perspective, neither is it going to work just from the trickle down from the top, it's the two coming together that's going to affect the most change, I think.